Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Nelson here with the Linfield Wildcat head coach, Joseph Smith. And first off, coach, a lot to congratulate you and your football team on. 21 Northwest Conference first team, second team, honorable mention guys, and then yourself, your eighth consecutive Northwest Conference Coach of the Year honor. Congrats. Well, thank you. It was uh, certainly a nice for our team to be recognized in that fashion. Uh, Northwest Conference Championship for the eighth consecutive season as well, at least a share of it. This one you won outright with a win over PLU 27-10. You talk about wanting to have those tough games in your conference. You faced a tough defense in PLU, and they kind of gave you guys a run, leading it uh, 10 nothing at one point. But then you went on that 27 and nothing run for the rest of the game. Was that kind of that game you were looking for right before the playoffs? Does that help you guys more than anything? I think it really does. I, I think you're right on the uh, the way in which you know they came out and played. I, th I thought tremendously aggressive and uh, tremendously aggressive. I was really impressed with what they did and took some of the, the things that we like to do away with, with some really aggressive uh, secondary play and, and their, their front seven, you know, six did a really nice job uh, disrupting some things and, and took us a, a while to, to loosen them up. I think, you know, once we finally started throwing the ball down the field, that, that, that really broke their back. But, you know, the turnovers and penalties uh, really slowed us down in that first half. And I was really, really pleased with the way our defense uh, kept them out of the end zone essentially uh, in that first half where mm -hmm. we put them in some really bad positions with some turnovers and, and bad field positions. So I think our defense kept it close. And then, of course, the, the drive we had there at halftime was big. Uh, talk about the receiving core. Zach Cousins kind of comes out of the woodwork and has another huge game for you guys. 133 yards receiving is yards after catch. Reed Peterson, another two-touchdown day. It seems like you can go to any one of those guys from one through seven in that depth chart of receivers, and they could have a huge day. I I've always have felt this year that our receiver depth's uh, really deep, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, and you're right. The the we rotate them in, and and at any given day they all can have big games. And Zach's been battling injuries all year. I think he's finally starting to get healthy, and you're seeing his explosiveness come back. Uh, really, in some ways, like he peaked, you know, towards the end of the season last year. So. Uh, getting his play back up is is really nice at a, at a time where we need it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get to the committee, the selection, this bracket that really was surprising to a lot of us media guys. I don't know how surprising it was to you, but you're on the road for what looks like the entire postseason, uh, going to Texas first off at Hardin Simmons in Abilene, Texas. Right. The uh, it's certainly disappointing for uh, you know our conference. You know, it's it's. Uh, hard to see where our conference is champions not not getting to host a game but um you know probably giving it the the skyac uh you know reputation or something i don't know but um in any case it is what it is and and um you know we knew that we'd be probably lined up with mary Harden Baylor at some point i i think uh it's just a little earlier going to texas than we maybe thought so um you know i think uh I would love to see a bracket someday where it's it's a real bracket. The ge geographical disadvantage of being in the West is real. We've said that for years. I think uh, you know the teams coming out of this region just have a, a great uphill battle comparatively to, to others, mostly in attrition. It's not necessarily just winning the games. It's what do you have left after three or four grueling early round battles mm -hmm. when you finally get to the the top you know three or four teams in the country. Who do you have left standing that's not hurt you know through those the juggernaut game so you know that's probably our biggest issue is just you know how are our, how will our depth hold up you know if you try to map out three or four games of, of that magnitude uh Harden Simmons uh they're good I mean they're they're very deserving uh of a first round game and they they really are they're a tremendous football team very well coached very physical great athletes uh we're, we're gonna have our hands full uh for certain a lot of people are talking about that Johns Hopkins Mount Union game and how that one threw this bracket off what looked like a Linfield first and second round home playoff game on that projected bracket mm -hmm. by D3Football.com now has you guys on the road for two games. Uh, talk about that, I guess, how one team being number one can make all that difference and that kind of uh, chain effect to everybody. Sure. I, I, I really don't know all of that. I, I know the D3 projections are, are never incredibly accurate because they still assume that the best teams are going to get rewarded for being good and, mm -hmm. and, and the NCA committee has so much more of a cost uh, analysis involved in terms of trying to keep costs down. So uh, you continually see top 10 teams playing in the first round or two in in our area. Mm -hmm. You know that that just seems to be how it goes. So 
Um, so I don't know. You know, I've never expected a favorable draw. We've never really gotten one, in my opinion. So I, I didn't expect it. I didn't quite expect it to be <laughs> on the road first round. Um, and, and so I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming, obviously, Mount Union not getting a one seed did throw tremendous change in the bracket, and uh, so much so that they're they're actually on the road, you know, for the first time, you know, as well. But right. albeit against a whole lot different teams than maybe some other teams are playing. Sam Riddle, Northwest Conference Player of the Year. He had 31 touchdowns through the air. Kind of mm-hmm. talk about how his play. We we talk about him every week, but Sam just at another level. It seems like this season. He's playing very very well. I I think. Um, you know he's he has such poise at times, and, and I think he knows that what he can do, and so uh, he's able to make throws that most people wouldn't try, and that mm-hmm. does get him in trouble sometimes. But he is playing at a very high level. I love his touch and his accuracy when when he needs it. Finally, how does your team match up with Harden Simmons? By the numbers, it looks like a mirror image of Linfield mm-hmm. and Harden Simmons. I think that's really fair to say. The the two teams play really good defense. The uh, they've got explosive receivers. They've got a very good, uh, dangerous quarterback. A good running game to go with it. Uh, they're they are bigger than we are. You know, up front in terms of O line, D line, they're they're uh, very big and physical. So. Uh, that they'll be a tough matchup for us uh, up front, I believe, and and certainly with what they do schematically. I love how they're coached. They're tough. They play hard. Be mm-hmm. a good, great game. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck.